This video presents the submission created in the context of the student project Interaction in Virtual Reality, which was held by the Artificial Intelligence Group of Bielefeld University in winter term 2009-2010. The project was supervised by Thies Pfeiffer and Nikita Matar. The first travel method is the highly intuitive path drawing. After drawing the path on the ground with the Wii mode, the viewpoint is continuously adjusted so that it looks as if you were walking along the drawn line. Our first selection method is the uncomplicated ray casting. By utilizing a user body in form of a staff, which changes color if an object is in focus, it is possible to select and manipulate objects. You can both translate and rotate them as long as they are still attached to the staff. If you want to change an object's position relative to yourself, you can adjust the size of the user body by scaling it. For our first submission, we combined the path with the ray casting method. In path drawing mode, it is possible to draw a path while an object is still selected. If while drawing you made a mistake, you can also interrupt the current path simply by drawing a new one. A switch to ray casting mode allows you to manipulate the object. The next travel method is the easily understandable walking in place. By continuously lifting your feet and placing them down again on the Wii balance board, you can move forward in small steps. Thereby, the length of the lifting period determines the movement's velocity. If you wear a pair of track glasses, you can change the current moving direction by turning it. Walking in place is also easily combinable with the raycasting method. As the two methods use different hardware, a selected object still attached to the raycasting user body does not influence the walking in any way. The World in Miniature travel method makes it especially easy to keep track of your activities. After the word in miniature is activated by pressing a button, it follows the tracker on your left hand. To the remote held on the right hand, a staff is attached, which functions as a user body. If you move the staff onto the ground of the word in miniature and press another button, the viewpoint is to the corresponding spot on the ground of the main scene. The world in miniature can also be combined with the ray casting method. The combination is possible because the two user bodies are operated with different buttons. A special feature of the combination is that you can not only select and manipulate objects in the main scene, but also easily extract objects from the world in miniature and they will be correctly scaled. The second selection method is the highly functional image plane. After picking the selection mode with a fist gesture, you use your thumb and index finger to form a semicircle so you can scroll through nearby objects bounding boxes. A grasping gesture selects the current object and activates the manipulation mode in which you can, for example, pull an object closer by forming two gripping gestures. If at that moment you adjust the distance between your hands, the object is scaled. If you form only one grasping gesture and move your other hand around it, you can rotate the currently selected object around all three axes. Hereby, it is of no importance which hand is the grasping one. 
Once you are satisfied with your manipulation, you can save your changes by, again, fist gesture. However, if your changes are unsatisfactory, you can reject them by spreading all your fingers. Our next method is the innovative least velocity. By leaning sideways on the Wii balance board, you can influence the current moving direction. By leaning forwards, the movement is executed. Each movement lasts only as long as the center of gravity is not directly above the board. Lean-based velocity is the first travel method we combined with image plane. As image plane relies on the two R gloves and lean-based velocity is executed using the balance board, the two methods are easy to combine because they don't influence each other. Therefore, even selected objects impair the ability to move. An especially fun way to travel is provided by the grabbing in the air method. If you form one hand into a grasping gesture and move it, the scene will follow that movement. If you repeat the gesture with both hands and change their distance to each other, it will trigger the zoom in and out functions. The pull function is similar to the zoom function, with the exception that the distance between the hands stays constant during movement. Our last submission is a combination of the grabbing in the air and image plane methods. The combination can be realized with minimal effort, seeing as both methods utilize the art pro gloves. Even when an object is selected for manipulation, movement by grabbing the air is still possible. Thank you very much for watching. In the following, you will see those who participated in the project.